Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Thunder, and today I want to talk about GeForce Now. Now, um, this has actually been a pretty controversial topic. Um, not only in the Fortnite community, but also in the entire gaming community. Now, a lot of people have been wondering if upgrading to Founders is worth it, and today we're gonna find that out. So here, if we go on YouTube, we search up YouTube. And for today, I'm doing this on a Chromebook because um, it is less susceptible to viruses. Um, you will see why that matters in a couple of minutes. Let me take a look at that real quick. You'll see why you know this may be a problem. So here we go. We look up G Founders. You'll see, you'll get all these videos about is GeForce Now worth buying, GeForce Now paid versus free, GeForce Now membership, GeForce Now Founders Edition, GeForce Now, blah, 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 blah. Now, here is the biggest problem with GeForce Now. Now, if you do not pay, you have to wait up to an hour and a half to get into a service queue. And why might that be a problem to some people is because people do not have hours and hours to play at a time. So a lot of people have started on Reddit saying that you should likely just start up a, um, you know, find a way to, you know, start up GeForce before your time to play has started. The only issue with this is you never actually know when it's going to be starting up. You may have up to 400 people queuing up at one time, whereas GeForce may only have 100 computers that some people can use at a time. Right now, that would mean that probably at least 400 people are getting kicked off of their PC right now. It means 400 people are getting kicked off the GeForce Now set computer. Now here's his celebrating one year of GeForce Now. Like we will not say this for you if you're checking this at a later date. Together we stream over 175 million hours in which is getting started. The world's most played PC games are streaming on GeForce Now and RTX on, on across all your devices. Join today and take your games to the next level. So basically what you're actually doing here if you're in GeForce Now and you're playing this on your device, this is basically just a, you know, a PC. So basically what we're actually looking at on this page is a PC. GeForce actually runs one of the best graphics card businesses and PC businesses in the land. Now, this means that not only is, you know, GeForce going to be a little bit expensive, we actually, you know, let's actually take a good look at the plans here. Um, I do believe that they have upgraded a little bit of this. Um, See so here that, you know, it says here that the monthly memberships are currently sold out. See so here you get six months, $24.95 for Founders. That is pretty expensive if you ask me. This is a six month membership. If they could have done anything better, they should have tried two months because people don't have $24.95 going around. Now, you have to kind of weigh the pros and cons of installing Founders on your computer. So GeForce Now runs and thrives off of a fast internet connection, and the reason that it does that is because you are connecting to a computer that could be as far as 400 miles away. Now you have to hope that your internet is good, unless you're probably, you know, overseas or you're on a cruise ship. In that case, I don't really believe this would likely be working for you, unless there's another computer out at sea, but um, that's a little bit strange. There is obviously probably a way you could probably do this overseas or, you know, if you're in another country. There are multiple servers if we go into settings here. We have many servers, West, uh, West 2, EU, Southeast, um, many, many servers. And, and you'll actually see... how here... Mine is set to auto, which means I live in the Northeast United States, which means it will either be selecting between U.S. East 2, U.S. Northeast, U.S. Central, or U.S. Midwest, depending on which server will likely have the lowest latency. 
Now, normally for me, it usually likes to select uh, ease two, which I don't really necessarily have a problem with. That's fine with me. Um, you know, but see, here I'm on the free version. I don't actually use this GeForce account since I actually bought Founders. And I don't necessarily feel like hopping over to the other account to play Founders. So I think that this is likely just a better option for now. Now, there is also another way to get lower queue times, but this will definitively raise your latency by quite a lot. Now, if you're on a Chromebook or something that does not want to tell you your network preferences, this will be a little bit more difficult to, to figure out um, if your latency is worse. So here's this EU West. Manually selecting a server location will affect network performance. It says may affect. So if you select a server closest to you, it may not actually you know, affect anything. Here, you also have streaming quality. So here on Chromebook, you only have two options. On PC, I believe you have four, uh, including custom. Here you have custom, so you can select your bitrate customly. Here you have two different options for frame rate, you have 60 and 30. Um, there used to be 120 FPS with Founders, but they have just removed it. Here you have your max bitrate, you can set it all the way up to the bottom. I don't actually believe that this does all too much, to be reasonably honest with you. But uh, it, it's really just a trial and error type of thing, you, you can test that out for me. Um, so you can obviously just go to games here, and you'll see that there are tons and tons of games. Now, the only downside, I think, right now, to GeForce Now, right, is that you can't specifically use GeForce Now as a tool to play your favorite games if you don't own them. If you do not own them on PC, and your Xbox or PS4 or mobile device does not ask you to sign in with the services it, it will ask on GeForce, you cannot play the game on GeForce now. The reasoning is they want to confirm that you actually have the game, you've actually purchased the game on your device, so that you are able to install it, play, do all that fun stuff. Now, the reasoning here behind Fortnite and Epic Games and Rocket League here. Fortnite and Rocket League are likely one of the most played games on the GeForce Now platform. Now, you also have Planet Coaster, Creative Destruction, Creative uh, Counter-Strike, stuff like that. Those are obviously played quite a lot, but I don't think any of them will reach the majority at Fortnite. Fortnite probably does have the most players playing right this instant. I'm sure right this instant, I can assume probably almost almost a million players are probably playing on any East, which is absurd. So it says to play this game, you must sign into your Epic Games account. Now, obviously, it's not saying you have to own it because Fortnite is a free game, but it will actually require you to at least have downloaded it on your computer or on some format of computer before. Now, let's say, per, um, per se, you are on... GeForce Now here, and you are on your computer. You have never installed Fortnite in your life, and you decide to play it. What will the problem be? Everything. You will not at all be able to play unless you get a computer, download Epic Games. You could just completely clear Epic Games after that, just clear all its history, but you're then going to have to sit there and bombard the shit out of your computer and install up to 40 terabytes of a monstrous game, you know, onto your computer. So is Founders worth it? Generally, I don't really think it is. If you're really looking for the overall gaming experience, this may be something for you. But it could also not be something for you. And the reason I believe that is because GeForce Now is the widely used um, gaming software. Had this been something paid, had this been something paid from the start, it wouldn't have been so used. People would have shuffled across, would have been playing on Xbox, PS4, Switch, mobile, um, by Android, I mean, and um, some other platforms that may exist. Now, obviously, there's hack ways to get this game. There's hack ways to get it on Chromebook. Um, but if you had to pay to do this anyway, 
people would have been able to play much earlier than having to sit in a 45 to uh, 45 to an hour a minute uh, you know queue time here so for example let's press play I selected EUS so I don't really think the queue is gonna be that long it, it just throws me in because the queue is that short um, you know I, that just means I must be the only player signing on it's really like I don't really know what time time it is you know over and uh, over in their time here you'll see like it's technically just sign me in like it, it it just threw me into some sort of um, into some sort of software where it's just gonna be playing for me and obviously it's starting up the battle eye it's launching the game that's normal now the only good thing about this is if you're playing at night and you select an eu server you will likely not get a queue time once unless you have people from na east joining in with you now in this case you may experience a couple rough edges here and there but nothing too dramatic i think the peak hours of geforce now are around 3 to 5 p.m and for nighttime, I expect around 8 to 12, likely when G4 servers are overloaded. Um, that's usually when people are allowed to play. Um, adults are playing all day, so I, I guess if you're an adult or if you, Fortnite is your career, um, then it is about time to upgrade and start playing on G4 now, if this option is a little bit too strenuous for you and you believe that you may not be able to play and you might have a couple problems along the way, it's not that really big of a deal. You know, like, if you actually think you can actually play, then um, it's really just trial and error. If you don't want to play, you don't want to play. Checking connection to data centers, it's just going to spiral around and create a party, and it's just going to sign me into my account like normal. Now, is Founders Edition worth it to the question that we have been looking for for the past couple of minutes? Um, let's head into the game without Founders, because, you know, right now, obviously, it doesn't actually look like, you know, I'm looking that well here. You know, I have, you know, like, it's a little bit stuttery, it's, a little, it's pretty glitchy, actually, if you ask me, you know, Everything is very glitchy. Very, very glitchy. So if I press play here, like for example, go into creative, we're 100% going to run into problems because I'm not completely sure why, but you always run into problems with this. And it's just because either one, it's just not supported and it really isn't meant to be played on. Like, I wish I had a camera to show you how hard I'm pressing my W key. Like, I'm pressing it so hard and I'm literally getting probably the worst input lag I've ever gotten. Like, this is pretty probably by far worse input lag than on Xbox. And as funny as that sounds, I'm not even joking around with you. I don't know if that was going on a long play. I'm blocking it. Thank you. 
So this is obviously probably the worst way to play Fortnite out of all the platforms. In my opinion, I would literally go out and buy a $400 Samsung phone just to play this game. Um, if it had to do with GeForce now, this is the laggiest thing I've ever played on. And if anything, even, you know, since I'm playing on EU West, I'm going to get lag and I'm going to get problems. But I did not in a million years think that my lag would be as bad as it is right now. So if you're playing on GeForce now, hella well, I think this is a problem with you. Because, um... is probably most likely the glitchiest thing ever. Alright, so goodbye everyone. I think I'm going to end the video here. I'm going to close out Fortnite. We are going to end this virtual machine and send it straight to the recycle tip. This thing needs to head out the door. Um, so we are going to just end that. Send that straight to the recycling bin. Um, did not enjoy that whatsoever. It's not very enjoyable. And yeah, so I think that may have been the by far the worst experience I've ever had um, on GeForce. So here we have people reviewing GeForce and stuff like that. Um, I'm honestly terribly fond of these people. I'm not sure why. Um, but anyway, thank you all so much for watching the video. I'm going to end the video here. I don't really got much time. Um, if you all enjoyed the video and you want me to actually purchase Founders so that um, we can make a video on Founders, let me know. I will install Founders if you guys want me to. Anyway, have a great day, everybody. I'll see you on the next video. My name is Thunder. Peace out.